3D print versus injection molding. Which should you use? When you need parts, one of the first decisions is method. 3D printing or injection molding. Both technologies are powerful, but they serve very different needs. In this video, we'll compare them across cost, speed, quality, and scale, and show when injection molding becomes the better choice. By the end, you'll know how to pick the right process and how to quickly check which option fits your part at max next. What 3D printing does best. 3D printing, from FDM and SLA to SLS and multi-jet fusion, excels at flexibility. It lets you go from CAD to a physical part without tooling. That makes it ideal for rapid prototyping, custom one-offs, and small batches where geometry is complex or changing frequently. Typical advantages, low upfront cost, fast design iteration, and nearly unlimited geometric freedom. Internal channels, lattices, and complex ribs that would be expensive or impossible in molded tooling. What injection molding does best? Injection molding is the industrial workhorse for plastic parts. Once the mold is made, cycle times drop to seconds or a few minutes. This yields extremely low per part cost at volume, excellent repeatability, broad material selection, and strong mechanical properties. Molds can produce parts with tight dimensional control, consistent surface finish, and minimal post-processing, especially with hot runner systems and optimized tooling. When to choose 3D printing, typical use cases. Choose 3D printing for concept models and fit check prototypes. Functional prototypes where geometry changes often. Low volume, highly customized parts. Complex internal features or conformal cooling channels used in tooling pre-validation. When to choose injection molding? Typical use cases. Choose injection molding for high volume production runs where per part cost matters. Parts that require tight tolerances, consistent surface finish, or certified plastics. Consumer products, automotive components, medical housings, and any part where repeatability matters. Cost and time, the real comparison. 3D printing, low upfront cost, high per part cost, slower per unit throughput, good for fast iterations. Injection molding, higher upfront tooling cost, very low per part cost, very fast per unit throughput once tooling is ready. Good for scale. Time to part also differs. You can print a prototype today, but for hundreds or thousands of production-ready parts, injection molding typically delivers overall faster throughput once tooling is completed. Quality, materials, and tolerances. Injection molding supports a wider range of engineering-grade polymers and provides more consistent mechanical properties, essential for load-bearing or regulated applications. Molded parts achieve tighter tolerances and repeatable surface aesthetics that often eliminate post-processing. 3D printed parts are improving, but anisotropy, surface texture, and material selection may limit use in certain production contexts. Design considerations. Designs for 3D printing can exploit complex geometry and eliminate assembly. Designs for injection molding need to account for draft angles, wall thickness, gate placement, and parting lines. However, injection molded designs benefit from predictable shrinkage, established best practices for ribbing and bosses, and the ability to stack or nest parts for high volume automation. Sustainability and waste. 3D printing typically produces little tooling waste, but support structures and failed prints add waste and post-processing steps. Injection molding generates runner and sprue waste in cold runner systems, but hot runner setups and efficient gating reduce scrap. At scale, injection molding is often more material efficient per part. How MaxNext helps you decide. This is where MaxNext adds immediate value. Upload your CAD file and the platform runs manufacturability checks, suggests the optimal process, and calculates cost comparisons. Want to know if your part should be 3D printed for a short run or molded for production? MaxNext gives a side-by-side -side estimate, including tooling implications, lead time, and per unit cost so you can make a confident decision. The platform also includes DFM feedback that highlights features that affect cost and manufacturability in each process. Both 3D printing and injection molding have their place. The right choice depends on volume, function, tolerance, and timeline. Don't guess, calculate. Upload your CAD file to MaxNext and get an instant comparison between 3D printing and injection molding. Cost, lead time, and manufacturing recommendations, all in seconds. If this helped, 
Subscribe for more practical manufacturing guides. Try MaxNext today and turn your design decisions into confident, cost-effective results.